Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am filming a get ready with me. It's gonna be like a glowy makeup look. It's not too much on my face though because I do want it to be quarantine friendly. I don't really like wearing a lot of makeup while I'm inside the house. I also think it's a waste of product because no one is really actually, well, you know, looking at me except for like my boyfriend. <laughs> so yeah, um, I wanted to film something that's glowy but lightweight and yeah, something that you guys can also try at home if you like it. So I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys get some inspiration out of this and let's just get started. What I like doing first is, <laughs> all this hair. What I like doing first is usually putting my hair up in a, well, not ponytail, it's honestly just a bun and it doesn't look cute, but we're just gonna do it anyway because it's what I usually do. So yeah, I look like a crazy person. Also, it's not tight enough. <laughs> yes, we... Also, if you guys hear singing in the background, there's a girl belting across the street. She's really good at singing, but like it's been a constant thing for the last few days and I think her windows just open and we can just, I think the whole entire block can hear her. At least it's not bad. <laughs> but yeah, if you hear her, that's what it is. I'm just gonna get close to up. So you guys can actually see my face. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need a mirror. So like I said, I don't usually like wearing a lot of foundation, especially during my quarantining. I just tend to not do it as often, but um, unless I'm filming like a video video. But yeah, I've been liking this Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I think it does a really good job at blurring everything out and just making my skin look a lot softer and just kind of like even, I guess, instead of using foundation, of course. So I'm just gonna put that on. And I do this like ugh, throughout the face. Also guys, I'm not like a makeup guru or anything, as you guys can tell. I just kind of do my own thing and I know what I like. So <laughs> yeah, so for like a super natural look, this is what I do. And if, if you can see, like it already took out all the shine from my face. Um, and it's like starting to like blur everything out. Oh my God, hello. There's like excess right there. Let me even put it on my eyeballs. <laughs> So as you can see, I feel like my skin already looks a lot softer. I put quite a bit on. I mean, it doesn't really feel like anything if I'm being honest. It's just really soft. I'm not sick. I just sneezed a couple seconds ago and it did something weird to me. But what I like doing after is just kind of like using my fingers and just blending that primer out, making sure that like there's not like any weird clumps. So the next thing I do is I like to use this concealer. It's very, very lightweight. It's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. I use it to highlight. I happen to not have a lot of under eye circles, so if you want to go ahead and use something heavier, then go for it. But I like this one. It feels like I have nothing on, and yeah, it gives me that, like, I don't know, it brightens up my face. It makes me glow a little more, but I just go down my nose. I do like three little weep whoops up there, right there, basically at the highlighting areas of my face. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> okay, then I just use, you know, my brush. You can use whatever brush you want. I use this little one and I just blend it out. But, wow, okay. It's so easy to blend because it's so like lightweight and, and creamy, but not too creamy, I don't know. It just feels good. All right, as you can see, it's already brightening up. Oh, I also like take whatever's extra and I kind of blend out everything just kind of simply on my face, you know, like not to make it like foundation or anything, but also kind of covering up any type of like little like weird, um, any little like dark areas or like old pimples that I decided it was okay to like pop and then it made a little scar. Scar, that's what I was thinking. So I also kind of just like dab that along. You see like that already hit everything but I don't want everything to hide. I think like obviously you can still see that stuff but I don't mind if you guys wanna go ahead and cover that up, you can. But 
like I said, I want to make this look very um, just natural. Like this is still my skin. I know I look pale right now, but it's okay. We're going to fix this. And then I set everything with my CoverGirl Clean Professional Translucent Powder, Loose Powder in translucent medium. And I've been using this since I was like in high school. <laughs> and here I go, continuing to use it. And that's how she looks. I just tap away and I just kind of do this. And honestly, it says translucent, and I think for the most part it is, but I do think that it like makes this a little closer to my skin tone. But just so you guys do know, this is usually what I highlight with, so it has to be just a little like lighter anyway than my skin tone compared to everything else. Or else, what's the point of this concealer for me if I'm not using it to highlight? Usually, when I'm trying to go really fast, I just grab the eyeshadow brush that I always use, this boy and I just kind of like boop 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 with whatever excess is on it if I'm feeling super lazy especially but today I usually like this palette the naked heat palette I think it's really pretty look at those colors so vibrant we're not gonna go crazy though I usually just use this guy what's his name chaser and sauced and we're just gonna easy 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 add that wow that's really all you need honestly <laughs> So we're gonna go there, do, 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 do. and I'm just gonna dip it, like barely dip it into that like little darker color, and put it on corner and my eyelid. It's kind of what I do. It's nothing crazy. Again, we're not trying to go all out. We're just trying to be like cash. I also kind of go under my eye right here, just a little bit. I don't know why. I just like the way it looks. I guess. I go back to this guy and I kind of just blend out. I usually have like an eyeshadow blender um, brush that I use, but we're too lazy right now. To use whatever leftover powder I have here and then it just kind of blends it out and makes it look super natural. So staying with my eyeshadow palette, I like using ounce. Oh, I forgot to mention that, I guess. I use ounce in the corner. Right there, hello. To glow her up. This is great. I'm actually just using the camera now at this point, so. Okay, so the next step, I grab my bronzer, and sometimes I use my bronzer as like eyeshadow too. Right, I use the Tarte Hotel Eris Amazonian Clay Matte Waterproof Bronzer. Cute. Swirl her around. Can you see that? Okay, let's do this. I kind of just like start over here. Ooh, that looks dark. I promise it's not that dark. Okay, ooh, okay. We're gonna just go far away. I blend it up. We're gonna blend this. I promise it's not just gonna look like this. So then we do the other side. And we start here so that it doesn't get too intense like at the bottom. And then bring it up. And then I use it for my nose like that. Under my lip, under here for my jawline, you know, we have a double chin, so we're trying to cover that up sometimes. I usually like to go back to the powder and just blend it out because I don't want to look super crazy. So I use the same exact translucent powder and I make sure that the bronzer just isn't super crazy and I blend it out. You see, it's already so subtle. Same here. Get closer to you guys. And then the nose. I like to use the Tarte Blush Bliss palette. Um, it's yeah, Blush Bliss, Blush Bliss Blush palette. That's the one. These are the really pretty colors it has. And honestly, I just kind of do whatever. <laughs> you might as well just grab it all. But um, yeah, I do that. Tap that stuff off, and then I just kind of smile. Good. Do you see how that's pink? Yeah, I love that. Let's even add a little more. Mm -hmm. I really have been loving wearing blush, especially with these like no makeup makeup looks. And then I also do my nose. <laughs> so we're gonna just, it's good. And a little more to the cheeks. And even with this, we're just gonna use our translucent powder again and make sure that it's still somewhat blended 
so it actually doesn't look as aggressive and it looks more like it actually being just like your natural cheeks blushing. Feel free to use more or feel free to use less. I think this works for me a lot. I've been using my Naked Heat palette for like highlighter. I like to use this brush. I don't know what it's called, but it, it's like more, I guess, tapered in. I go into my Naked palette and I just kind of do that. And I put some right on my nose, like right there. And I also put it on my cheeks, like right there. I see a lot of beauty gurus doing this. So that's why I've done it this way. Um, yeah, we're just gonna add a little more. Oh, mm-hmm. I just feel like it looks really nice and glowy and natural and I really, really appreciate that. I'm just gonna add it right there. Wow, okay, I totally see that. I hope you guys see that too. I also add it like right here. Mm-hmm, like we're a little sweaty, but not really. All up here. This has now become an eyeshadow brush. Um, great. I have been obsessed with the Benefit Gimme Brow. I know I've like, I'm so, this is like an older product and I've obviously jumped on this wagon way too late, but this is amazing. I love it. I didn't realize how amazing this was until like maybe two months ago. And this is all I've been using, especially for my like natural, like everyday quarantine look really weird that I'm calling it a quarantine look but it really is um, it literally just makes my eyebrows look super natural you know it just I don't know you guys will see it has the little brush so I kind of just yep it's pretty self-explanatory but I mean the good thing is I do have like eyebrows you know I like have hair and I think for people that don't have as much eyebrow, they probably would need a pencil or something to help with it. But if you do have like eyebrows, um, this might be like a pretty good product for you. And even then, like if you don't, I do think it gives like pretty good color. Like you can already tell. Wow. You can really dance. Like, it's a difference, right? Like, I'm not crazy. Like, you can definitely see the difference. So I always have trouble with this eyebrow. I don't know why. It never looks as good as the other one. I know people say eyebrows are, like, not twins. They're sisters. But I don't know. Something about this one. I think it's because I have to, like, use my right hand differently. That makes it not as cute, but it's okay. We can only try our best. All right. I think it's fine. I think I'm just caring too much now. Okay, so I like to curl my lashes, but I don't like putting mascara on for these looks. I know. Um, but like, as you can see, that my lashes kind of go down anyway. They go down. So I like making them a little curlier. Hmm. Lately, I've just been feeling like it looks more natural when I don't wear mascara because then like, you can tell. You can tell when you're wearing mascara. And the whole point of this look is to make it as natural as possible and uh, yeah, be glowy, I guess. There you go. That is all I do for my eyelashes. For my chapstick, I like using this Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm. This is the perfect, perfect thing because I like having my lips not chapped and knowing that it has somewhat of a tint, you can already tell. Hmm. Makes it look even better. It's still pretty natural. This one's a little more on the red side, but they have different tint colors. But I still really like this one, and I like the way it smells. It's hibiscus, so it has a good essence to it. Well, guys, that is it. Look at this. You're glowing, right? Do you see my glow? <laughs> I've never felt confident without foundation on and now wearing just this makeup look makes me feel confident and I feel like it's a lot better for my skin. This primer, if you don't have this primer, it's amazing. Um, I would recommend not using as much as I do like if you're going to wear foundation with it because it does glide a little bit. But if you're just going to do what I did, I think use whatever and however much you want of it. It is glowy. It is good. 
I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this helped in some way. I hope this was easy enough for you guys to follow along or like make your own versions. Please let me know how it goes when you guys try your own like natural makeup look and yeah, let me know if you like it or if you would just prefer wearing foundation. I don't know, talk to me guys. I would love to know more. Oh, also, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe already and follow me on Instagram if you like. It's always really fun and I always make sure to post when I have a video up so you guys never forget, just in case you guys don't have the notification bell on. And if you don't, why don't you? Definitely get that notification bell on so you guys know when my videos are coming to you. Cool. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.